I'm going to show you how to open and clean a scallop. Uh, the scallop I have today is a king scallop, also available in the UK, uh, little queen scallops, they're in a much, much smaller shell. As with all mollusks, when you purchase uh, a scallop in the shell, you do need to make sure that it's actually still alive. And I can tell that because this shell is nice and tightly shut. As with other mollusks like oysters and mussels, the shell's not going to be quite as tightly closed as in this particular case, the shell is slightly corrugated, but it does want to be quite tight. With these, um, when you store them in the fridge and you can purchase them uh, in the shell, you want to store them rounded side down and they'll keep for a few days. To actually open the scallop, I'm going to use a, a shucking knife. The variety of ways of, uh, of actually doing this for my purposes, I'm going to just insert the shucking knife, which is like an oyster knife, into the hinge area of the scallop and just prise it open a little bit just to make sure that I've got a little bit of an opening. At that stage, I'm now going to turn the scallop flat side down and using a filleting knife, which has got a little bit of flexibility, I'm going to actually press the knife down and run it across the bottom shell to release it from the, the flat side of the shell to peel that um, away. What I now need to do is remove the scallop from the shell, but we can just look very quickly as the contents. We've got the main meat in there. And underneath here, we will find a little bit of roe. The roe, or coral, is uh, the orange little piece there. I'm going to use a spoon to release this from the shell. It would actually slip the spoon right underneath there. And doing that, it actually pulls it away from the muscle and it prevents too much loss of meat. With the scallop itself, we have a frill around the edge. It also loses some of its stomach contents. The stomach contents of this black piece here that wants to be pulled away and all of that would be discarded. With that, there's also a little piece of the stomach sack remaining there. I'm going to pull that off or you can just use a knife to trim it. Having trimmed the scallop, we now want to wash it and a bowl of cl uh, cold water, just rinse that away, taking care that you make sure you remove any remaining pieces of stomach and make sure that's nicely rinsed. Once we've done that, it's just about ready for cooking. Fishmongers very often still sell it with a harder piece or thicker piece of muscle on one side of the scallop, and chefs very often like to trim that away, which you can do. Um, once that's done, all you need to do with that is either pan fry it, a little bit of bacon, chorizo, um, or just straight onto the barbecue. And that's how you prepare scallops.